What is up, YouTube? What is up? It's Big Boy Rabbit coming to you wild and free from East Central Mississippi. What I got for you today is another p -p 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 pawn shop find. That's right. We've been going around to our local pawn shop trying to find any mill serve that we don't have that we can feature episodes on for you where we do nothing but this rifle, the facts, the wars, the people that used it. We're going to let you see everything, how to use it, how to take it apart, how to load ammunition for it. We're doing it all. But we got to get these rifles first before we can bring you that footage, huh? Let's come up here and take a look at this Moss 4956. It is in absolutely awesome condition, as the majority of them I've seen coming are. They're all in great shape. It's got plenty of blue in it, really doesn't have much patina. Of course, up here where they fire the rifle grenades has been wore off. Flip it over. It's got the rifle grenade sights. You flip this up, cuts the gas system off, and then you pull this out and flip it up, and you're going to aim off the tip of the grenade on this. So you can launch that bad boy down range and get those uh, enemy out of the hole, uh, that trench that they're laying in. A lot of people, it's got this that I call a saddle ring. I don't know if this is a saddle ring, but I'm calling it a saddle ring because any other gun, it would be a saddle ring. It has a direct impingement system, much like the Hakeem and the M4, which is fine. <laughs> it's a decent system as long as you clean your weapon. You can feed it either by stripper clips or, like I just did, slapping another magazine in that sucker, pulling it back, letting it go, and you can uh, keep fighting the enemy. problem with these guns are is um, sometimes they slap fire. And boy, howdy do they. <laughs> they can slap fire from this they can slap fire from you having to drive it home from a failure to feed and sometimes they'll just slap fire running the gun and it'll be like a runaway gun that happens with these guns it can be fixed uh i haven't looked up how to do it but i know that you can it's changing out the firing pin and maybe adding a spring it's got a really decent safety right here you know that safety down and you know that weapon's safe with it down here you can feel it even at night and then easily flick it up with your firing hand and get ready to rock so we take it up. It's got these nice sights on here that um, the aperture is similar to most U.S. sights. And this is where the scope rail goes. And I do have a scope rail for it. We'll put a scope on it to run it. And on here, the markings is, of course, Moss, MLE, 1949 and 56 caliber 7.5 French. A lot of these have been converted to 7.62 NATO. I don't want to say they were converted to 308 because a 308 can blow up a 7.62 NATO, but a 7.62 NATO shouldn't blow up a 308. So if you're putting 7.62 NATO in your 308 guns, you should be fine. This is a 7.5 French model, which I like. I want all mine in as original condition as I can get them for when we show y'all shooting. You know what these were like when they were on the battlefield. This one's in excellent condition. It's show quality, and we're going to try to keep it in show quality. So as always, like, comment, and don't forget to bayonet that bell. Subscribe for more videos.